So I've prepared a couple of muffin batters for this one, and I'm going to demonstrate a class of coloured pigments that's in blueberries called anthocyanin. Anthocyanins are in pretty much all fruits and veg that we have. They can also act as pH indicators and have different colours associated with them in different pH conditions. So, here's two batters I made earlier. They're both the same base batter. They've got blueberries chopped up in half into them and they've been left to rest overnight in the fridge. This left-hand one, I've gone for an acidic environment. So what we've got, we've got, the, we've got baking powder in there. And we've also got the zest of one lemon and the juice of some lemon in as well. So it's gonna have citric acid to be nice and acidic. Then on this right-hand side here, we've just got um, bicarbonate soda on its own. So that's gonna be alkaline. So they've been left to rest and hopefully now we should be able to put these into the cases, bake the muffins, and then demonstrate how these anthocyanins have different colors in different pH conditions. There's our two batches of muffins and now we'll cut them open and we'll see if what I hope to be the case is that the blueberries are different colours on the interior of each one. So we'll start off with our ones that are blueberry and lemon. So if I just cut one of these open, I'll probably just break it open like this. And now for the other batch, we'll open these up like this. Open this up like so. This example here is where we're going to have we had lemon in the batter and we had baking powder, so we've got some acid into our into our mixture. Those anthocyanins should be therefore protonated in the acidic environment, and they should appear red in in, in, in colour. And you can see there's some lovely purpley reddish tinge to all the where the, all the blueberry pockets are in our in, in our batter. So you've got the anthocyanins; they absorb in the blue green region of the spectrum, and they are therefore reflect back the red light, and you can see they look red. Whereas in this example here where we had um, the, the batter now, it had bicarbonate of soda in there, so it was alkaline, they're deprotonated, and they now absorb in a sort of yellowy region of the spectrum. And as a result, they now actually have a different appearance. So you can see here, there's definite blue-green tinge um, to that part of the, of the muffin batter there. So that's a really great example of, of those anthocyanins acting as pH indicators.